Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on my video. My name is Jess and today I'm finally doing the decluttering. It is something that I've been putting off for quite some time because I know I'm gonna have to throw out a lot of stuff and that's just like, it kind of hurts. I'm feeling a little bit of stress and, and anxiety over this because I know it's gonna be difficult to like, be able to be like, oh, I must toss. You know what I mean? It's gonna be hard, but I gotta do this because also this will make room for new makeup, right? I'm trying not to shop so much this year and I've actually been doing pretty well. I always go on like ColourPop and Tarte and Sephora and I just like look at all the things and add them to my cart, but I don't actually purchase them because I'm really trying not to shop that much this year. So it's been pretty difficult because like, especially ColourPop, oh my gosh, they're coming out with so much like nice things. I know I'm gonna make a purchase from them at some point. I just don't know when I'm gonna pull the trigger, but it'll be a lot easier to justify the purchase if I get rid of some stuff. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Before we get started though, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I upload my videos on YouTube on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so that's when you can find me on YouTube, but also make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter so that we can chat some more. Oh, okay, let's do this. So I keep my makeup in the top three drawers of this Ikea dresser, and this is in my closet. It's quite full, and I share it with my husband. So on the top here, uh, I have my makeup brushes and then my beauty sponge. And then the just it's just the top three drawers that have makeup in them. So in this big, deep drawer, I have all of my eyeshadow palettes and eyeshadows like singles and whatnot and it's honestly just such a mess so doing this declutter is definitely going to help me clean everything up i have random stuff in here like mascaras it's just kind of a disaster uh, on this other one i have mostly all lip products and uh, this is just so sad because it's just i know i'm gonna have to throw out a lot of them because they're hella expired and then this top one, I guess it's powders and like foundations and stuff like that. I don't know. It's kind of a mix of mascaras in here too. Yeah, it's just a big disaster. So yeah, doing this declutter is definitely going to help me tidy everything up. I have so much stuff. And it's crazy because like I think I have so much stuff. And then you see like other YouTubers and they do their declutter. Like people who have a very large subscriber account and they have a lot of makeup and I am just like feeling overwhelmed and this is only one drawer so I put everything in that like deep makeup drawer into this like shopping bag um and it's quite heavy and it's like this full pretty full okay this is too stressful I'm totally I have to take everything out of the bag and like put it into like sections or what is the word categories I have to take everything out of the bag and put it into categories and then like do this because it's stressing me out just having this big bag of mixed items so one sec okay so that is everything that was in that first deep drawer I just kind of organized it into little sections here are like eyeshadows just like singles here we have like highlights bronzers blushes eyeshadow palettes and then a little bit of foundation and like primers Okay, I'm feeling better. Now I can go through it. Okay, so honestly, all of the single eyeshadows, I'm not getting rid of any of them. That's all of like the ColourPop stuff that I really just recently got. Um, I have two, four, six, eight, nine. So I have nine of the Super Shock shadows and I'm not gonna get rid of any of them. I haven't even had them for a year. I'd be like going on a year at this point. Um, but yeah, I love them all. I think they're all really, really nice. Okay, that's a lie. I can't really say that. I haven't used all of them. I'm gonna keep all of these Super Shock shadows because I really like them. I haven't even used all of them. Like this one, Telepathy. I was so excited for this one and I haven't even used it. So I'm gonna keep all of the ColourPop eyeshadows. I really like them. The only one I would consider getting rid of is this like purple one, Daddy. I don't remember it performing that great, but I'm gonna give it a couple more goes before I decide to get rid of it. And then I have um, this L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadow, which is super pretty, and nothing like that there. It's just a really nice, like, champagne eyeshadow color, and it's so pretty. I'm gonna keep this guy, too. Um, and then I have two of the Chrome Paint Shadow Pots from Tarte. 
Fire Dancer and Pot of Gold. I love both of these. I'm not getting rid of them. I have the Tarte Clay Pot in Cobalt, which I am loving right now. So I'm definitely not getting rid of this. I'm like not getting rid of anything. I know that's what it looks like. This is brand spanking new. I'm not getting rid of this. This is the Press Shadow Take Flight of ColourPop. I just got that. Not getting rid of it. This, however, I don't know if you can see, it's like totally cracked up and basically completely gone. I loved this so much, so much so that I had doubles of it. So before my husband and I got married, I had some at my place and then I had some at his place. Um, and I used the living life out of it. Like it's, it's, I can get rid of this. And also it's really old, but this was really, really good. This was the Pure Flash Electric Cool Eyeshadow. This was awesome. It was like, honestly, it was exactly like the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. That's what it was like, and it was wonderful, but way more expensive. I don't even know if this is even around anymore. So getting rid of that, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and Soft and Gentle. It's got a giant crack in it, and I know this is really, really old. And I have other highlights, so I'm gonna get rid of this guy. Um, I have the Super Shock Cheek in Over the Moon. I'm gonna keep this, I love it. I just have only had it recently. I have this Tarte Smooth Operator. It's just like a finishing powder, just a white, probably goes on translucent. I used to use this to set my under eyes like a really long time ago, um, but I actually do remember it leaving a bit of a white cast, so that's why I stopped using it, so I'm gonna toss this. Um, I've been using the All Star ColourPop to like wet my eyeshadow brushes, and if I remember to actually like set my face, I don't really notice it extending like the life of my makeup though so it's fine but I wouldn't like highly recommend it or anything. I also have the All Star Matte Blur Primer. This didn't do squat for me and I will be getting rid of this because it just made me even oilier. It did not keep oil at bay at all so I'm gonna get rid of this but I think I'm gonna try and give it away because it's actually still fairly new. Um, I, this is this is so gross and old. I don't know. Oh it looks so gross. Like can you see how freaking separated it is. It's so old and separated. It looks so gross. I'm definitely getting rid of this. This is Genius Gel Beige Light Marc Jacobs Foundation. Super old, getting rid of this. Uh, this is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. This is super old, I'm getting rid of this as well. I do remember liking it though. Like it was just a really nice, like basically like um, skin tint. What do you, mineral, what am I trying to say? Tinted moisturizer. That's it was it was kind of like that like it didn't give a lot of coverage which is honestly what i look for if i do even wear foundation in general i like very rarely wear foundation i usually just do concealer that's like same skin and then i'll put it on my cheeks as well uh, because i do have some rosiness on my cheeks sometimes so tossing this guy i have this tarte amazonian clay full coverage airbrush foundation this was really really quite good it's got like the little net in there that you like dip your brush in it's really old. I use this for my wedding makeup and we're going on three years. So I should probably just get rid of this. So I have this wet and wild one. I just got this. I'm not getting rid of it. This is winter falls in LA. Super pretty. I also, this guy is old too, but I don't think I have the heart to get rid of it. This is the hourglass ambient lighting palette. Um, it has like three of them. I honestly don't even use it anymore though. So I don't know. This is hard. We're gonna put this in the maybe because this is expensive. It probably still works nicely. I just need to like use it. Um, I also have, I have three. I have the Mary Luminizer as well. These are by the bomb. So this is Cindy Lou, this is Betty Lou. And this one is a bronzy shade, super pretty. I don't think I can get rid of this. I don't even use it though. Ugh, this is so hard. And then I have the Cindy Luminizer, which is more of like a rosy gold and it's falling out. That's how old it is. The glue isn't even sticking anymore. Either way, I don't know, we'll see. And I have the Mary Luminizer, um, but that's just like in my makeup bag. Okay, so these two are bronzers and this is a blush. This is from MAC, this is quite old. This is really old, but it's like this limited edition, really cool packaging because it looks wet. It has like these little like raindrops on them. It's super, super neat. But these are really old and I barely even use them now. I have a matte bronze and then I have like one that has some shimmer in it. I don't know if I can get rid of these. They're so nice. I also have one of the blushes which looks basically brand new. I think maybe I used it once. Uh, it's so hard to get rid of stuff that's limited edition but like I seriously haven't touched this since I moved here I'm pretty sure so probably should get rid of it. This is a blush from Maybelline. It's in the color ravishing rouge apparently it was limited edition oh, just dropped it sweet 
This is what it looks like on the fingers. It's actually a really, really pretty color. But you don't use it. Obviously you have to go in with a light hand. I remember really liking this, but this is so old. I should get rid of it. Have this single Bobbi Brown apricot blush. It's so pretty, but I haven't used it in so long. Can you donate stuff that's really old? I'm not really sure. I should look into that because there's stuff here that is in really good condition, but um, I also have these three. Do you remember when these things were like just all the rage? These brick, what are they called? Shimmering Brick Compact. I have three of them from Bobbi Brown. I have this one. It's a nice bronzer. What's this one? Apricot again. So pretty. And ooh, ooh, that one's nice. Nectar, oh my goodness. I can't get rid of these, they're too pretty. Okay, what I'm gonna do, since I'm trying not to shop this much, what I'm gonna do is just like, what is that? I guess that's the whole shop my stash, right? I'm just gonna go through my makeup and I'm not gonna get rid of these because I really, really like them. I'm just gonna use them more. But they're really freaking old. Ooh. These ones do have expiries of 24 months. They're definitely older than 24 months because these are, I don't even know, can you even get these anymore? I'm not even sure. This is gonna be like the longest video. It's just me like talking to myself. Yeah, I mean, these are super expired. They're 24 months. I've been in California for over 24 months now and I did not buy this right before I moved here. So I know these are super expired. I should probably get rid of these. This will go in my reassess, we'll see. I have these um, like little bronzer balls from the body shop. These are really, really cool, but I don't use them. I should get rid of them. They're really nice though. Oh, I also have this bronzer from the body shop. This is, what was this? Like a honey? I don't know. Just this bronzing powder shade deep matte, but I think it was like a honey type of thing because it has like a honeycomb pattern on it. I really do like this one. I thought it was quite nice. I might keep this, we'll see. Do you remember this guy? It was just like everyone had it. This is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. This was so affordable and so nice and I haven't used it in a really, really long time. I should toss this too. It's so much easier to get rid of stuff that's like, this was $2, whereas this was probably like $40. I don't know. I have this Inglot palette and it's quite old. I know it's at least like three or four years old. Oh, it's probably so old, but it was like one of those, like kind of you pick out the shades. Maybe that's just how it is. I haven't shot, like you don't really hear about Inglot at all, but their colors are stunning. And for some reason I decided to get four like metallic shimmers and one deep matte. I mean, I guess you can try and create a look out of this, but it wouldn't be easy. And it's so nice cause it's like magnetic. I'm gonna keep this. I, I can't say goodbye to you yet. I have this ColourPop Feel Away palette. I don't even think this thing is available anymore. It's like all purpley shades. I remember being kind of disappointed. It just wasn't very, very pigmented, but I haven't had it very long. I don't think that justifies keeping it. Maybe what I'll do is try and just keep the palette, but pop out the colors. Cause I do like that it's magnetic. I think I'm gonna do that. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Bed of Roses quad. I just got this, so I'm not gonna get rid of it. Same thing with the blush. This is that black blush. It's pretty sweet. I do like the color. This is super old. This is an e.l.f. blush. It's in the color Shy. This is so old. It doesn't even look like I've used it. I gotta toss it. It's so old. For five MAC blushes that are just like all in the same color family. It's that whole, they're the same but different. I have Dainty, Gentle, Breezy, Peachy Keen. This one's actually really pretty. And then I have this limited edition Rocky Horror Picture Show one. Just such a nice, like, I'm not getting rid of this one. This one's so pretty. Crazed Imagination. This is a really nice fall one. I should just freaking use my makeup. Um, Honestly, I don't even wear blushes very often. I'm gonna get rid of these guys. I have this nice one from Milani and Coralina. Do you guys remember? This was also so popular. I don't use it. 
gotta get rid of it. I have this tiny little baby hula bronzer. I used to actually use this all of the time, but I didn't actually use this as a bronzer. I used it in my crease all of the time, but I'm gonna toss this because I have other things. Um, I think these are all, except for this. These are all blushes by The Balm. The Balm is just a brand that is not spoken about a lot, but they are awesome. And they always like, they have a 50% off like website sale every like couple of months which is really nice because their products aren't really expensive but when it's 50% off they're super affordable and I don't even know I'm pretty sure these blushes aren't even available anymore houndstooth swiss dot oh this is stunning toil toily I don't know how to say that Ooh, oh this one's so nice too pinstripe so pretty um this is the bronzer bahama mama i really do like this i don't really use it that much though i'll reassess this one and then i have three more this is down boy really pretty pink banna boy this is cute too rat boy Ooh, that's cute too oh these are all so cute okay i have to see like how many blushes i'm actually going to keep because i can't just toss out everything but I'll probably keep these. I have a couple of box blushes from Benefit. I have this one, Bella Bomba. It's a really pretty like shimmery color. And then I have two dandelion ones. Um, I already had one, then my friend gave it to me too. I'm gonna get rid of both of these. I don't, I don't use this. Now let's do the eyeshadow palettes. Oh my gosh. So I have the Naked 1, 2, and 3. Those are the only like Urban Decay Naked palettes that I have and I never reach for them. This guy you can't even get anymore. I did dig into some of these colors quite a bit. I did used to like this, but when I did that video because it was dying, after like editing the video and whatnot, like I liked it when I was doing my makeup, but I don't think I'm gonna use this. Ugh. Ugh. Naked 3. Naked 3 is pretty too. Oh my gosh, this is too hard. Naked 2. I don't even reach for Naked 2. I think out of all of them, I'm going to keep Naked 3, but I'm going to get rid of Naked and Naked 2. Um, I have this Bobbi Brown palette. This is Nectar and Nude eyeshadow palette. I had a thing for Bobbi Brown for a little while there. I bought a lot of her stuff. This is a really, really pretty palette. Really, really pretty. Nope, I don't use it. I'm going to get rid of it. This is becoming easier. The more I'm doing it, it's becoming easier. All right. Um, I have the Urban Decay Kristen Leanne palette. I use this all the time, so I am actually going to keep this guy. It's really, really nice. Limited edition, but it's exactly the same as the Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat one. So I'm going to keep this guy. Ooh, this is old. This is old. Most of my makeup is so old. And this, I think, was like a little controversial because of the artist, Guy Borden. This is a NARS, like, holiday palette little palette that has a bunch of colors i barely touched this this still looks brand new i only dipped into laguna i'm gonna get rid of this this is a tarte blush palette that was one of the like christmas ones because they always come out with these palettes around christmas time didn't really use this either it looks like i used the bronzing one Got a really nice size mirror. Gonna toss this, I don't use it. Little pile of eyeshadow palettes here. Definitely keeping Soul, definitely keeping Mar. I love these ColourPop eyeshadow palettes, they're wonderful. This is old as hell. I actually think that this is the first like eyeshadow palette that I ever purchased, like when I was working and like wearing makeup in like high school. This is so old, Too Faced Natural Eye. Look at this, it's so cute. It had like perfect little looks that you can do. It came with these like little cards in here to like help you do your makeup. Oh, classic day fashion. It'll, it will tell you which colors to use, where to place them. So helpful. This was like a really good first eyeshadow palette. But uh, it's super duper old. So I gotta toss it. How old this is. He looks so young. Doesn't look like that anymore. I have a lot of stuff from the bomb. <laughs> so this is the bomb Shady Lady eyeshadow palette. I never use this. This is a really nice sized like has a mirror and everything. I never ever use this. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, I also have this guy Meet Mad Nude. Meet Matt Nude. 
just all like nice matte eyeshadow pal eyeshadow palettes eyeshadows um, I think I'm gonna keep this guy in the meantime because I am getting rid of the Urban Decay like naked one and two palettes and this just has like a lot of nice neutrals and like transitions so I'll, I'll keep this guy um I have the Urban Decay Kristen Leanne Kaleidoscope palette uh this isn't that old I think I've had it for about a year and it has a lot of like nice bright colors so I'm gonna keep this for now we'll see what happens later oh I have the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette can't get rid of this this is so expensive it's ooh, it's actually I think I've had this for like almost two years now though no keep it out um, I have this chart. This is old. I actually got this as a gift for Christmas and unfortunately I never used it. It still has the freaking little plastic thing in here. Yeah, this doesn't look like I touched it at all. I love Tarte, but their eyeshadow palettes like this, it, they're just so... Just something that I won't use, like, which clearly I didn't use at all. It's, it's just the colors are just so similar and I don't know, just not for me. Getting rid of this guy too. So this is what Tarte does well when they do like cute little fun palettes like this this what is this called it doesn't have a name be a mermaid and make waves why do i remember that <laughs> i love this palette i'm not getting rid of it it's so freaking cute and it's like good stuff i really like the eyeshadows that are in here i love this palette so cute um i also have this other tart one this is love trust and fairy dust it's more like pink toned it's really pretty it's kind of similar to the naked three should i be having both probably not <laughs> Ugh. Now I have to reassess. Oh, well, look at that. One of the colors just like popped out. I feel like this is helping me make my decision. I should probably get rid of this guy too. Yeah, I'll have to get rid of this too. Ooh. Sorry, Urban Decay. Tarts here. Ooh, I loved this. Okay, so I don't even know if this is available anymore. This is from The Bomb and it's called How About Them Apples and it's got all of these really nice cream blushes they don't smell gross or anything and they have such pretty pretty colors i'm gonna keep this i can't i can't get rid of it oh okay and then this is the last one that we have here so this is the urban decay elements palette i just got this for christmas so i can't i haven't even really played with it very much i think i've used it like once maybe twice yeah i just can't get rid of it yet. i actually also do have these like makeup sponges that um i got for christmas that were also in that drawer um i haven't even used them i guess i should try and use them they're very dense like they're much much more dense than like the beauty blender um but yeah i should definitely try them out it also came up with this little baby one for concealer so yeah i definitely want to try these out um i got them for christmas no idea just as makeup blenders it's probably something that's from like a ross or winners or that kind of deal um so it could be good um so i'll definitely try those because i haven't even touched them i'm gonna get rid of this i can't justify keeping this it's old and i have other bronzers that i'm liking so i'm gonna toss this one this one's really nice though still debating on the bomb the hot bahama mama I'm gonna see if I use it. I'll keep it for a little bit longer. Inglot, I just can't get rid of. It was, it's just kind of sentimental to me. I remember literally, cause they don't really sell this in Vancouver area, at least they didn't back then. So I actually made the trip out to Seattle to a Macy's that had an Inglot counter so that I can make this. So I'm gonna keep this, even if it's just for a little while longer. <laughs> all right guys, so I'm all done with the first drawer of my decluttering situation that I have going on here. I'm pretty happy with the progress that I did. I have actually a pretty large pile of stuff I'm getting rid of. And the majority of stuff that I'm keeping is relatively new. Like it's a lot of stuff I only just got like in the past year. Some of the other stuff is maybe only like two years old. And some of the blushes are quite old, but I'm still gonna use them. Um, I'm having difficulty getting rid of like the MAC stuff that's in this really nice limited edition packaging. Um, and same thing with like the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks and the Balm like Luminizers, these highlights. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep them. Even though they're old, I'm going to keep them and I'm going to reassess the situation in another three or four months and see if I'm using them. If I'm not using them, then I'm going to get rid of them. If I am using them, then sweet. But what is your opinion on that because this stuff i know it's old and for like lipsticks and foundations i have i feel like it's going to be really easy to just like chuck them especially foundation i don't even use foundation very often at all um, but lipsticks once they start to smell funny you you don't want to put that on because it smells weird right but what about like bronzers and highlights and blush what's your opinion on that because 
I mean, like I haven't used them in a while, so I'm gonna try and use them. And if I get like a rash, then obviously I'm gonna toss them. But if nothing happens, then that's okay, right? Leave me a comment down below. I would love your opinions on what's too old and you really should chuck out when it comes to like bronzers and highlights and blushes. Because it's just like powders, like, I don't know, you let me know. Have you had any, any experience with this? Please let me know, I would love to chat with you about it. I'm definitely going to do the rest of the stuff. I think I might be able to do the lipsticks and that top drawer all in one. I might have to split it up in another two videos though. We'll see. I know that this one's gonna be really long. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you back. All right, you guys, take care, bye.